Oh, the derby. Well, we went through some naming convention discussions and initially it was Battle of the Bridge, which bridge was it, the Sydney Harbour Bridge or the Anzac Bridge, and I think we, just, we thought we'd just settle on the Sydney derby. So that was interesting around that time when it was happening because that created a lot of conjecture and noise around in Sydney that there were two teams really coming into play. Um, but the first derby, I, I, I do remember it very well. Um, clearly it was at ANZ Stadium and there was just a team of rookies from the Giants. And we were, we were a very well established team, obviously 2012. Um, so we you know, clearly went out there to try and intimidate them and bully and sort of show our authority. But what was really impressive from the Giants was that uh, a lot of their kids, you could tell, would be really good players. They, were, they, they stood up to a lot of what we were giving out to them. So it was actually a, a quite a close game. I think the margin was 60 or 70 points in the end, but it didn't kind of reflect on the, the toughness of that game. And that probably started something where I think all of us sort of took a bit of a, a look up and thought, okay, this is a team that's built for something. They've got some really good young kids and I can definitely see success is on the horizon for them. And we've, we've kind of seen that but yeah, it was a great experience, great for Sydney too, um, that you get, you get two genuine teams coming through and playing each other, and that was, um, that was really important to the success of, of the Giants at that period, um, and important to the success of footy in Sydney too. It was probably manufactured early. Um, you know, we had to do that to you know, try and get fans through the gates, and, uh, but as soon as you kind of crossed that white line, it wasn't manufactured, there was something there. Um, you know, which was great. You know, it's, it's grown to something fantastic now. And yeah, look, always pretty special. Initially when it first started having the new team, uh, you know, come into the competition and we were, we didn't want to show them or give it to them easy um, arriving. Um, so look, those initial games, even though we won initially, they were always very physical. And knowing Kevin Sheedy, you know, he got them really wound up. And um, as a young team, they come out extremely hard and aggressive at the football. And they had a lot of great talent. But the, the thing that I noticed the most was how hard they were at the footy. And a lot of credit goes, uh, you know, to their coaches and, and their players, the way they go about it. Yeah, well, I think you, it's critical that you have two um, successful and competitive clubs. And that's, um, something that I know the club, when there was talk about a second Sydney team, it was like, okay, yes, that's, we support that, um, but we'd been in Sydney for 30 years and we weren't about to give up a stranglehold of the work that we'd done, you know, on the field, off the field, at schools, you know, at clinics, junior clubs. It was critical that they set up well, and in credit to them, they did. They set up incredibly well. Um, and I think if you look at the characters that are out there on the field, it's. They're highly passionate, highly competitive. I've had plenty of run-ins with Toby Green, who's now the captain, and um, Callum Ward, and, and genuine, genuine dislike for them on the field. I didn't really know them off the field, but you know, on the field, they were competitors. And I, I think the first final that we played too, I mean, we, we lost the game, but it was at ANZ Stadium. And um, I remember running out into the crowd, and, uh, onto the ground, and, and not knowing what we were going to expect. I thought it would be predominantly Sydney, but there was a sea of orange there. And it, I'll, I'll never forget that. Just, you know, as a kid growing up in Sydney, you'd be lucky to get a decent crowd at, the, at ANZ just for the Swans. Yet that now we've got two teams in Sydney and it's split almost 50-50. Like that was, that was a real moment and, and one that we'll, we'll always look back on. Uh, probably the final at, um, at Homebush. Um, you know, it was a massive crowd, I think 60 to 70,000. You know, which was unbelievable for, for two Sydney teams to get that huge crowd in, in their first final, I think it was. And, um, you know, they got us that day, but um, the crowd, the energy was, you know, was something amazing. And fortunately, we went on to play in a grand final that year. But um, to have two teams, um, you know, going as hard as they can and, and playing really great footy was, um, you know, was huge for the state of New South Wales. The Giants making the grand final, it's clearly going to bring more supporters to the table for them, commercially, you know, members, what that relates to. Um, but I think now you can see the Swans are now going through their own regeneration. It can happen really quickly. I think that's exciting for footy. You know, I was at the game on the weekend and to see of set it, see of sort of red and white back in the stands, it's and a real optimism for where the group's heading. That's that's awesome. So we were almost playing little brother at the moment on the field. I think we'll always be big brother off the field just in terms of 
you know, commercial and members and what we can you know, create, but certainly the last couple of years we've probably played little brother to the Giants, and now you can see a, a sense that we're, we're starting to bridge the gap. Oh, look, it's, to, to me it's great, uh, you know, during the week you, you get to watch our players, um, see how they prepare and, and see how their upcoming opponents of how, you know, they can beat them, you know, what are their strengths or weaknesses and then they're probably the most, in, the thing I miss the most is when the boys run out and, you know, you walk out behind them for the warm up and it'd be, geez, it'd be nice to be playing out here, um, but also, you know, rap to be able to watch our players go about it and, and then go sit up in the box and, 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 you know, watch a good game of footy. Clearly there's, there's, a, there's this wave at the moment of, of optimism with the Swans and that they're playing an incredible brand um, of footy so, and, and the young kids that have come in have certainly brought some enthusiasm that I think we probably needed. Um, still incredibly well led, I look at our team and I think Joey, Parks and Ramps, although Ramps won't play, but I think we've got the leaders there that are showing them the way. Um, they just look like they're enjoying their footy, uh, that, that's the best part, they're, they're having fun out there. The blueprint, the game plan, it's it's still fairly similar. I dare say they've tinkered with it a little bit, but they're just going out and playing on instinct with that in the back of their head. So um, I'm going to say a Swans win, um, but I think it'll be a really tight game. I'm looking forward to watching it. Yeah, it's huge, um, especially for New South Wales. You know, school holidays finishing. Hopefully, we can get as many fans as we can here. It's um, after the last year of having no one in the stands, basically. Um, to have 29,000 last week and hopefully more this week will be a huge boost for not only the, for both clubs and players but supporters of both teams and um, to see a great game of footy on you know, twilight where all the kids can get out um, you know, is always a favourite time to play.